Welcome to the Master Wong Kickboxing Fitness Training. On this particular lesson, I will talk to you about jab, cross, and a round kick from front leg and the back leg. So to get your body to, to do some exercise. As you already done a lot of basic kick already, then it's become more easy now. You combine them together here and make it some aerobic, some movement. So you will learn to understand your body a bit more. But everything you do, make sure the movement have to be look good, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be a waste of time to have them. And if you have problem with this, email me and I will help you to answer your question. If you're ready, because you've got your partner there, bring them in and we can play together. Neighbor, you may. Now, as you're already learning the basic jab, cross, and what we're going to do, we're going to use a back leg to do the round kick. So move back and create room, yeah? One more again. Jab, cross, move back and create room and do the round kick. Let's go a little bit slow, a little bit on the... And then round kick, boom, like that. Okay, so make sure you hold the pad in line like this size. Again, one more again, one, and back, boom, like that. Now, other way, other way side, you work on this side here already, jab, cross, this size, kick. Now, we're gonna work on this side. When you work on this particular side here, jab, cross, we're gonna work on a front leg, for instance, slide back, and then kick. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if you're using back leg or front leg. The whole idea is you create some room for yourself. If you not create some room for yourself, you won't be able to leg up. One more slow again. So one, two. If you're too close here, you slide back, so you've got room here. And then kick. Okay, that's the idea of this. One more again. One, two. Back, and then kick. Now, other way around. This is when using the back leg. Now, when you're using the back leg there, here, again, you need to move a bit of room here. And then kick. Okay, one more again. Jab, cross, kick. Okay, and that is how you practice on the jab, cross, round kick. Now, when you move freely, it's slightly different because you're going to move, you don't know which leg is it. So, when you practice like this, you need to understand your leg have to do the work that you want your leg to do. So, you're going to make sure you spend a long time, a little bit, to practice to get your leg pretty good. When your leg is pretty good, you can pull and kick whenever and however you want. Okay, that's important. You can train as much time as you want, okay, to get yourself up to the standard. Let me show you here when you're moving around. Then you understand how to move. Let's move around and show you here. Jab cross, boom, boom, round kick. Line the body up like this. Move around again. Jab cross, this side, boom, for instance. Again, jab cross, boom, boom, round back leg. Jab cross. Front leg, does it matter then? Jab cross again, other side, boom, boom. Front leg, jab cross again, boom, boom. Back leg, front leg, does it matter? So it doesn't matter which one you can get, one, two, back leg. Now again, other side, does it matter? So move on again, boom, boom. Front leg, and then back leg. Yeah. So the idea is when you walk, when you're moving around, you've got to be freely, jab cross again, back leg. Freely, so you can understand, again, Back leg, back leg, turn, front kick again, one more again. So does it really matter which way you're coming on? Okay, think of that. So the idea is your leg is belong to you. You can kick where you want it, how you want it, but you have to pick it up the way you want to pick it up. Okay, you can kick from the back leg or you can kick it from the front leg, or you can kick a lot from the front leg for a round kick coming in. Spend some time on this, play with this, use the technique a little bit better so they can understand a bit more about your own body. Play safe. I will see your next lesson.